Kanyangela informed Judge Afimana Witele that the payments are listed in a forensic report on the nature of the deals between Fishco and the Novanam subsidiaries. That they approached former Fishco CEO Magni Punya to buy the quotas from the Fishco subsidiary Seaflower Whitefish Corporation and agreements were struck for a period between 2014 and 2020. According to an affidavit by Kamano, Nipunya has called him on two occasions from his prison cell. Paragraph 47, it came to my knowledge that Mr. Nipunya was arrested during about February 2020 and has remained in detention since then. Paragraph 48, he has contacted me on my mobile phone on at least two occasions from prison from an undisclosed number, displaying no number on my mobile screen. Mobile screen. I recall some of our discussions to have centered around the following topics. Mr. Nipunya called me to request signature of the service agreement between Skeleton Cost Rolling and Wanyemba Investments Trust as referred to as before. Novanam subsidiaries such as Deep Ocean Processors, Skeleton Coast Trolling and Lalandi Holdings paid some of these millions over to entities owned by Fishco before Nipunya allegedly informed Kamano to divert payments to his entities and that of his co-accused. He says Kamano indicated that the accused provided reasons for the transactions including consultancy claims and facilitation fees. Kamano Kanyangela says, insists that no such services were provided by the suspects or the companies they listed. These six men form part of an alleged syndicate which misappropriated approximately $317 million from Fishco for self-gain since 2016. Kanyangela has since objected against the bail application of the six men, which continues in Monday. Kei Kanji, NBC News, Venduk.